So clams are still steaming a little bit. Um, shellfish have a tendency, I just closed this one, of uh, opening when they get, when there's heat involved. So these mussels have been sitting out for a little while. If you ever get a shellfish that's completely open and you try to shut it a couple times with your fingers and it doesn't shut, that means it's dead and should be uh, discarding, shouldn't be eating that. You get very sick from bad shellfish. Um, so if you ever get a shellfish that's slightly open, just give it a little press with your fingers and it'll, uh, it should shut automatically and that'll let you know that it's still alive. Um, Do you have a favorite place to shop for seafood around here? Or recommend uh, for people? There's a, I don't know the name of it, there's a place in the South End right next to Foodies on Washington Street that I only you know, get my shelf seafood at when I'm cooking at home. Um, around here, not so much. The, I know that there's a seafood place up the street, I just haven't been there yet. It's like an Asian market seafood kind of place. Um, Super 88, I've gone to a couple times for some seafood. Generally, and I think most chefs do this, when there's a, when there's a, you know, an event where you need fish for your house or meat for your house, you just order through for bears and pay the restaurant back, which seems to be the easiest way to go about it. Uh, so as the water starts to evaporate in there, uh, you want to, before the clam steam, you want to add a little bit of water back into it. You're not really affecting the flavor. All that's happening is you're evaporating by trying to steam. Um, so you're just adding that water back to it to keep it steaming from it being too dry. Keep in mind this is a stew, so you want it to be a little liquidy uh, in for the final product. So we're still waiting for those to steam a little bit. I'm trying to see if any of these muscles are open. This one's just open. Just had an example for you. It's kind of like watching the paint dry, waiting for the to steam. Almost there. Where'd you come up with this recipe? Uh, something I had when I was in Uruguay, actually. Um, it, it was a little different as far as the interpretation of the dish. Uh, it's kind of a bouillabaisse idea, you know, the idea of a bouillabaisse that I've run on several menus, and then kind of putting that spice and that Latin flavor from the jalapeno and the coconut milk from the dish I had in Uruguay, and kind of putting them together and creating this. So, you know, it's a little bit of, of work experience. Who I learned my bouillabaisse recipe from, I don't really remember, but, uh, you know, a little bit of work experience, and then on top of that, a little bit of dining experience kind of put together in the two and trying to replicate something I had somewhere else that I really enjoyed. Um, but you can see that this clam's starting to pop it right there. It's starting to spread open a little bit. Sometimes if you just kind of tap them, they wake up a little bit and either, for lack of a better term, die and open up, or uh, sometimes not. Sometimes you get really strong. These are really, clams came in today and they're really fresh. They were pulled out of the water yesterday, so these are healthy strong clams that are going to fight for their life and not want to pop so easily. Um, and that's what you want, really. That is what you want, yes. <laughs> and it helps you, you know, you know, your, you know your, your, your shellfish is fresh and you can stick it in the boiling substance for three or four minutes and it doesn't want to open. Um, but you also want to make sure you hit it right at the right point when they pop. You want to drop these in so that they don't, uh, so that they don't overcook. Because once they pop, then they start to begin to overcook. Um, they're essentially cooked the minute they open, so it's kind of a delicate game of finding that right period. You don't want to pop these open and then let it simmer for another 10 minutes and then drop your other stuff in. I mean, once these pop, you want to be ready to go with all your other ingredients. And add a little bit more water. It's going to be taking a while. At this point, you can also season it right before they're about to pop because you know that's kind of where your liquid content is going to be. And it's not going to reduce too much, so a little salt and pepper in there never hurt. I do.